Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Six Foot Ben, and this is the Poor Boy Tech. No pressure cooker needed, all right? Now, I've tried growing with bird seed, with rye berries, and every fucking time I fail, man, I always end up with contamination. Just, I don't know, man. It's not in the stars for me, or I'm just not careful enough. But either way, if you don't have a pressure cooker and you want success this will work all right so what you need some brown rice all right i got this for a dollar you're gonna need a spore syringe so you're gonna have to order one of those um then you need a you know a jar that's already been punched and everything um i'm not gonna go into how you punch a jar and everything you know you should probably be able to figure that out and you need a pot you know a pot about this big a strainer um, and a cold beer um, the cold beer is optional but I do recommend a cold beer because um, they're good all right so anyway what you're gonna do you're gonna fill up your pot with some water bring it to a nice boil pour in your rice and boil it for about six or seven minutes you don't want the rice to fully cook you just want it to like suck up a little bit of water and you know kill any any spores or contamination that might be on the rice now rice doesn't have any endospores so that's why we're using that because you don't need a pressure cooker because it's just it's very clean stuff right so get it to a boil and uh pour it into your strainer i just pour it right into my sink pour the rice right into the strainer and then i take the pot and i fill it up with water again and boil that and pour that back over top of my rice again in the strainer just to wash off any extra starch and give it another douse of you know hot water to kill anything that might have got on in my sink or whatever okay then i i also i i turn i preheat my oven to about 450 degrees all right and i do that because i do my work in front of my oven like where i'm loading the jar because the heat from the oven the hot air will blow up right and in theory, it will, you know, keep any airborne spores from settling down on it. This isn't 100%, and uh, some people will tell you it's worthless, but I, I do it anyway, all right? So, I open up my oven, and I have my strainer, right, and with my rice, and I have my, my jar, I already have it clean, you know? You want to sterilize your jar as good as you can, you know? Pour some boiling water in it, clean it with alcohol, whatever you got to do, just make sure it's a clean jar, all right? Then I just shovel, I just shovel my rice into the jar. Leave about two inches at the top so you can shake it. You have enough room to shake it when it gets colonized. All right, so then you're gonna take your jar, you're gonna cover it with tin foil, and I put it in a pot, you know, with water about up to about up to halfway on it, right? And then get that, turn it to on high and get it boiling and put your pot over top of it. Um, if it's boiling too hard, you can hear it just rattling around in there. Turn it down to low, and as long as it's hot and it's getting a steam bath, it'll be fine. So steam bath it for roughly an hour and a half. Now, that'll kill you know anything on the jar and just give it a little extra sterilization. After it's done, set it aside, let it cool. Um, couple hours once it gets to room temperature you can go ahead and inoculate it with your spore syringe i mean you know two cc's of um of spore and i think that would be about enough i mean whatever do whatever you want i don't care but that's what i do i use about two to four um and put your um put the jar away in a dark cabinet and pray <laughs> and hopefully it'll work out now this is this is my fourth attempt and and this was a week and a half old and it is basically a hundred percent colonized maybe 98 percent it's ready to go my first jars i did are you know they're ready they're ready to fruit so so far not one contamination all right so anyway that's how you can grow mushrooms without a pressure cooker so Good luck, happy new year, and um, happy growing. All right.